Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, yet again with another Ham Shack Chat. This time we're going to take a look at noise and interference reduction on the received side of your Yaesu FT891. There are 12 different functions and actions that we're going to consider. Some of them are more effective than others, but they all have some effect. I don't have a lot of measuring instruments to determine things like noise and interference reduction. However, I do have two instruments built into the side of my head, my ears. That said, all of you, at least I hope most of you, have these same instruments. Further, we all hear differently. So, what I determine to be an effective function might not be as effective for you. I'll give you a brief discussion on each of the functions, followed by a short demo, and the last two that I discussed will be the ones that my ears tell me are the best. But, as always, your mileage may vary. I'll also show you how to quickly add your preferred functions to the ABC buttons on the front panel for quick access. Any questions, concerns, suggestions, corrections, or just greetings should be put down in the comments. One of the quickest and easiest ways to get rid of a lot of your background noise is by simply adjusting the RF gain knob. What I want you to do is watch the incoming signal level as I turn the knob counterclockwise. I'll start by turning the sound up. So you can hear the voice and you can hear the hiss in the background. Note that my S meter is moving just slightly. Uh, that's So I'm going to tweak this. As I go counterclockwise, you'll see the S meter is indicating less and less and less until it is fully gone. This is your RF gain. So I'm going to turn it back down. If you listen, the noise level is falling. So that's a great, great way to get rid of the uh, background noise. DNR, or Digital Noise Reduction, is designed to reduce the level of ambient noise found on the HF and 50 MHz band. It's especially effective during SSB operations, but you can use it during pretty much all operation. You activate it by going to the function and then the function 2. And you'll see DNR right over here. So we're going to go ahead and activate that. I'm going to use my multifunction knob to move the carrot over and I'm going to select it and you'll see a pop-up come up. Now there are 15 different algorithms that this passes through. Let me turn the sound up and you can hear how each one is a little cleaner or a little dirtier. I can go all the way up here to 15, but that's kind of blocking him a bit, so let's lower it down. 10 is pretty good. For this particular conversation, that's where I would keep it. You disable it by pressing your multifunction knob. Now we're going to go to the digital notch filter, which is DNF. So we're going to move our carrot down, and we're going to select it. Now here's the thing. This is useful in a mobile setting and can null out interference from your car's ignition system. There are no adjustments associated with the filter, so it's either on or off. So you go to the functions 2, pick out DNF, select it to engage, and select it again to disengage. Intercept Point Optimization, or IPO, is found under the function 1 list screen. So we'll just key through here until we back to function one. We're going to find IPO, which is right here, and we're going to select it. By selecting the IPO button, your rig will bypass the RF preamplifier, giving you direct feed to the first mixer. So, turn this up, and I'm going to engage it, see if you can notice any difference. Because the, the president of the company, at least this is what I heard, or rumors, was a real fan. And we'll buy the local 
So you can hear that the noise dropped when it was selected, but so did the voice. And when I turn it off, both the noise and the voice come back. I do hope that you're enjoying this and getting something out of it. I know it's early on, but if you wouldn't mind, please take a moment to pop that thumbs up icon and give me a like. No, I like that. I like that. For the next two functions, we need to make some changes in our menu. So I'm going to press and hold to get into the menu. The first one we want to look at is menu item 12-04, which is the IF notch width. Your choices here are wide or narrow. So we're going to leave it on wide. And when we get back into the functions, we'll see what we can do about that. Now we're going to go up here to our contour level. Contour is very similar to a notch. I've got mine set to minus 30. Uh, you can adjust it anywhere you want. And oh, by the way, you can amplify it by 20 dB. So you can actually give yourself, instead of just a, a valley, you can give yourself a hill. Let's just drop down one and go to contour width. Contour width is adjustable from 1 to 11. And I'll select that and show you. I can go down to 1, up to 11. And you know what? If we can go up to 11, let's keep it at 11. In other Spinal Tap news... So we get out of the menu by pressing the function key. We get into the functions by repeating. Pressing the function key. Function 1 screen. And we're NCH. And I'm going to engage it. That brings up our chart here. You can move, move and notch out adjacent channels that are bothering you. Adjacent noise. All that sort of stuff. Uh, that's how that one works. Now we're going to get out of here. I'm going to press the function key to close the window. And we're going to go to contour, which is on function 2. Key down and go to contour. I'm already selected. And you'll see the difference when this one pops up. You'll see we have a nice little, little rolling valley. And you can adjust that back and forth and uh, get the best one you want. As I mentioned, you could also have a little amplification here if you wanted to have it. And we'll get out of that. Now we're going to go back to our function 1 and we're going to go to narrow. Narrow is a preset one touch mode dependent IF filter. Take a look at the chart and you'll see how your filter will be set while selected or deselected in the given modes. Narrow is engaged simply by turning it on and disengaged by clicking that multifunction knob again. We also want to take a look right next door to it, which is attenuation. Attenuation lowers the received signal across the entire band by 12 decibels. That's good communications versus noise. Everything gets lowered. So you'll see when I engage this, well, everything got a little bit quieter. Just a quick intermission to ask you to share. I'll tell everyone I know. This with your friends and colleagues and compatriots and cohorts in the FT891 community. Now we're going to take a look at use of the clarifier, but before we do, we need to go in and make a change on one memory item. And that's menu item 5 dash 18. So we'll just scroll up here, come up to 518, which is clarifier select. You've got three selections here. You got RX, which is the default, and that will change the receive frequency. You've got TX, which will change the transmit frequency, and you've got TRX, which will change both. So we're going to put it back down here on RX, select it, and now get we're it. going to press our clarifier. You see that it tells me I'm in clarifier RX, and it's set at a minus 40 hertz. I'm going to do adjust my sound. See if I can tweak him in a little better. So you can see what, what I'm doing here. I'm going to turn my clarifier off. I'm going to redo this. This time I'm going to adjust him. So you can hear him in there. 
I'm going to hit my clarifier. So, this is this is very useful in case, uh, say you're doing a parks on the air, you're calling CQ, somebody comes back to you, they're not quite on your frequency, you can hit your clarifier and watch what happens when I click my uh, mic, I'm not going to talk. And you can see that I'm transmitting on my original frequency, but listening on this new one. Here's what you've been waiting for since the very beginning when I promised that I would tell you my favorites and why. But, you know, it's not only my favorite. It's also a recommended method by Yesu, where they said using the IF shift and IF width together make for a very effective interference fighting system. Of course, I edited that a bit. <laughs> Please, consider subscribing to this channel. I certainly appreciate it. We're going to head back to our functions and get to function screen one. So here we go, function one. What we want to look at is the shift and width. Shift, if I bring that up, allows me to move the bandpass up and down in frequency and you can see where the frequency how far offset i am so right now minus 100 hertz on the center frequency and to get out of that i'm going just to click on it i'm going to go to the width and you'll see that width allows me to spread it way out and spread it back in now uh, what you want to do is when you got a frequency let me turn this guy up a little bit, and I'm going to go back, I'm going to go back to shift, and I'm going to tweak him using my ear to give me what I think is the best sound. And I think that's good. Get out of that. We're going to go to the width. And narrow that down. And I think that's about right for there. What you want to do is play back and forth between the shift and the width to come up with your most important to you. You probably look and say, oh man, you know, pressing the F key, getting back in, tweaking this, turning that. There's a quicker way to do it. That's using your A, B, and C keys. And right now I have my tuner, my scope, and my zero in on those. But we'll go back, get out of there, with the carrot on shift, and that's, that's the way I want it, I'm going to put that in B. And I'm going to do, do that by simply holding down the B key for a bit until it shows up. Back to function, I'm going to put my width right next to it, and I'm going to hold down the C key. And you know what, I kind of like having a notch, so I'll put that on the A key. So there's my notch, and I will press and hold that. So now I have notch shift and width. So I can tune my notch I can then press my shift and tweak him press my width and tweak him and that's that. Now there is a fourth quasi button so you saw that I got rid of my tune I like having the ability to tune. So if I go into the functions and I put my carrot right up here on tuner and I can get out of functions and now I can do my notch, I can do my shift, I can do my width and I can press the F key and it comes up on tuner. I've got that selected. So if I want to tune there's my tuner. I hope that you've enjoyed our little trip through the interference and noise reduction functions available on the FT891. More importantly, I hope that you've learned how to make your operating time more valuable and gratifying. 73 until the next Hey Y'all!
and thanks for taking time out for yet another Ham Shack Chat. As always, I am at your service. I'm Tom, ND3N, just like it says on the hat, and I am out.